Please welcome the popular, respected, WBC featherweight champion of the world, Mr. Gary Russell Jr. And his opponent up to the stage at this time, a great fighter from the Philippines, undefeated in his campaign, 22 wins, no losses, 15 knockouts, Mark Magnifico Magsayo. One hundred twenty-five and one half pounds. One twenty-five and a half pounds for Mark Mugsayo. One twenty-five and three quarter pounds. We have a fight. Both fighters make weight. It's the first of our world title attractions. Twelve rounds. WBC featherweight championship of the world. Kumusta mga showkoy ang pagbabalik? Ngayon ay kukumpara natin ang laban ng Mark Magnifico Magsayo versus Gary Russell Jr. Pero bago yan ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click na rin ang bell button para updated ka sa mga videos na ating gagawin. Tuloy na tuloy na nga ang bakbakang Magsayo at Russell Jr. ngayong January 22, 2022. Kaya naman ay pag-uusapan natin kung sino ba talaga sa dalawa ang mas nakakalamang pagdating sa bakbakan sa ibabaw ng lona. Unahin muna natin si Gary Russell Jr. Dahil may nakita akong laban niya na hindi siya masyadong magalaw at nagpapasuntok lang siya sa harapan ng kanyang kalaban. Kung ganito ang magiging estilo ni Russell Jr. sa pagharap nila ni Magsayo ay tsak na may pag-asa si Magsayo na manalo. Dahil kung ikukumpara ang kalaban dito ni Gary Russell kay Magsayo ay di hamak na mas malakas at mabilis si Magnifico dito. At kung tatayo lang si Russell sa harapan ni Magsayo at magpapasuntok lang sa katawan ay paniguradong masasaktan siya sa bigat ng kamay ng ating pambato. Kaya ang magiging susi lang dito ni Gary Russell para manalo ay i-outback si Magsayo at gamitin ng footwork para makalayo sa mga atake ng Pinoy. At dumako naman tayo kay Magsayo nitong mga huling laban niya, laban kay Seha. Ito ang napili natin dahil ito ang isa sa mga pinakamahirap na laban ni Magsayo. Dahil dito niya nasubok ang kanyang endurance at IQ. Yes, he's a really good inside fighter. We saw that when he fought Rickendall. Oh, he got him! See, look at the extension of Seha's arms. You never do that, you know. 
right, this is probably, there's there's that same hook right there. You saw Seha jabbing, but he extended, he was expecting to parry. I like how when you describe that, you went... Dahil kita naman natin na pressure fighter itong si Seha, na kahit slugger type si Magsayo na boxing hero, ay napapatras ito sa ginagawang pang pressure ni Seha. Bumagsak pa nga dito si Magsayo at dito niyan ay pakita na kahit gaano pakatigas at disperado ang kanyang kalaban ay kaya niya itong patulugin sa isang stop mata lamang. Or did he break his nose jump? It's possible to be bleed from the nose, maybe he's sucking in a little more air. Well, he's got him on the run right now. There's something wrong with that. Say a look like that. But say has got him on the run with those body shots. Tries to protect his body as well. He's got both arms planted on his sides. Only in the fifth round. Maxayo is buckled oh. up. Now he goes down. Never count a guy out. Five, six, seven, eight, okay? He's hurt. Withering body shots. Oh. Julio Seja breaks him down. Second. Oh, good hooks to the body. Boy, this is this is you, know, what, you saw what Canelo did to Rocky Fielding. A nice combination. That, from that, that, that's a bad shot right there. That liver shot. Julio Seja now Maxwell jumps back in, and now with some renewed vigor. Firing off right shots on Julio Seja. I think by boxing the past few rounds, not taking a lot of... Oh, oh my God! God. Down it's he over. goes! What a shot! It's His over. is over! That's it. Wow! Whoa! Kaya kahit champion at kahit mabilis at magaloman si Russell Jr. ay mapapabagsak naman siya ni Magsayo kung matamaan siya ng isang sulido na kamao galing sa ating Pinoy na pambato. Kayo mga Shokoy, ano sa tingin nyo ang magiging resulta ng laban ngayong January 22, 2022?